Hi, this is Flecky. Welcome to the Road to Glory Career Mode Youth Edition with Mansfield Town. Hi, welcome to episode 84, season 6. This is the first uh, episode of season 6 and we're starting off by ending season 5 actually. Um, I don't know if you recall, but we sold our best winger, Ducara, and we sold to Liverpool. Uh, they could offer Champions League football and we couldn't, so I figured it would be a realistic move. We're gonna have a training session and then we end season five and we'll kick off season six with the preseason and we're gonna choose the tournament, the preseason tournament as well. And with the magic of editing, it will go fast. We finished uh, in sixth place in the league, which I'm really happy about. And we are into season six. I uh, probably should go with the one with the most money. And we're gonna sim the preseason game, so we just try and get what we can when it comes to, to the money. You can see we have Valladolid in our group, and um, for me, they are a pretty big team. I mean, they're usually in the top of the. the Spanish first division. Uh, we had Southampton too, and uh, yeah, we managed to snatch a few free agents there: Ortega and Ibanez. I will look further into them in a, just a little while. We also received the, the objectives from the board, and they want us to reach the quarterfinal of the, the European League. And want us to go to round 16 in the FA Cup. So it's good. it's got two pretty tough goals to achieve, but we'll, we will try. And they they want us to finish in top five um, within three seasons too. So that's tough. So we start off with simming the game versus Sporting Lisbon. with a 2-1 <clears throat> loss. Uh, Stanbury scored our goal. I can apologize for my squeaky chair. You will hear it quite a lot. Um, I need to look into it and I just haven't bothered yet. We received an offer for Papino and I've been it's a big offer too, from German Hanover. 33.4 million and I, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna accept it because we have Gianetti who could play a central defensive midfielder. We have Konchekao, we have quite a few players on that position. None as good as Papino of course, he's an 81. He had a brilliant last season. And one of the big reasons we finished where we did in the league. But we're going to try and negotiate to see if we can get a little more. If we do, I will sell him. Or I'm prepared to sell him, I should say. 36.5. They should they should accept this one actually. Yeah. So we're gonna probably lose Papino. Um, but as I said, we have other players, none as good as him, but still. Also received an unloan offer for Barr, and I'm gonna send him out on loan because he's been getting some great game time when he's been on loan. We're seeing the Southampton game as well, of course. Um, see if we pick up another loss. And we did. But it's alright. We're dead last in the preseason tournament. And we can't, we can't really, <laughs> we can't care less to be honest. Um, 
Unless I start playing the games, I'm, I'm not gonna win any of them. And the fans want to see Ibanez plays our new player from the free agency. Uh, he's a striker. I'm not really in need of strikers, but he looked really great. And I figured maybe I could play him as a winger, if any, because I have Stramberg Lee. Then again, <clears throat> with Ibanez into the team, I could actually, if I receive a big offer for Stramberg, I could accept it, you know. We received an offer for a striker Arvidsson and we will accept that one because he hasn't had any game time at all. He's been out on loan for well, all the time he's been with the club. So. We've seen the last one against the Spanish team. We have a draw, Stramberg. We saw that Ivanes, he had some game time because he got substituted. And we sold Papino. And we will have to replace him with a decent... Well, I guess Gianetti could do the job. I have scouted a few CD. I'm gonna have a look at it. It's just, I'm not gonna buy anything just because, since we have a lot of players. I do need to, to replace Ducara. Maybe even... Oh yeah, this, this guy is also a central defensive midfielder, I've been looking at him, he's on the free agency, so I should probably try and sign him. If not for, he could, you know, he could do a good job in the reserve team, since we have a few players out on loan still. And Mario Moya is another player that I've been thinking about. He's a left winger, so he could replace Ducare. He doesn't have the qualities. But we'll try. And here's Ivan Siris, Cristiano Garaccio. This is uh, Ronaldo's region i think it should be ronaldo's region garaccio he might be extremely important should probably loan list okora i'm gonna try and send a few out on loan and and i try to <clears throat> sell what I can sell. See if we could. Maybe I should recall Bird. We'll see. I'll, I'll think about that. So, yeah, we're gonna play the Charity Shield. Since we won the FA Cup last season, we're playing the Charity Shield, which is pretty fun. We're gonna play. Oh, we got them. Excellent. Yeah, we're gonna play Liverpool, so that's gonna be great. So we got Moya. I also picked up Diabate. He's a left back. I picked it from the academy. Um, he's a 64 now. He's been trained. Yeah, so he has a long way to go. But he, I only had. Uh, Foster as a left back, so I figured I, I need at least if, if he gets injured, I should have someone that could actually play there. And we need to send our scout out again. <coughs> this is the one that I always uh, scout England with. Since Mansfield is in England, so I always have one scout from for the country that I'm playing in. In this case, of course, England. So Tieno is with us as well, he's a 69, which is great. Gianetti is a 74, and he's... Papino was an 81 when he got sold, so... And we have Ortega too, who might be 
a good backup if Cruz need to rest. Kerku, he, he haven't really played well when he got the chance as, as an offensive midfielder. I'm thinking maybe having him uh, as a central midfielder or defensive midfielder, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, the squad is coming together. We have a few new players. Uh, the most exciting one is of course Garaccio uh, that I might I'm thinking about playing him as a striker I'm going to start using him on the left wing since he is a, a, a striker slash left wing uh, since it's Ronaldo's region um, and if if you could see, he picked up for two months injured, and uh, <clears throat> when we changed uh, into the month, so I guess we will wait we'll, to see the debut of Garacho. It is, uh, yeah, Moya is probably gonna. I'm not recalling Bird yet. I'm gonna have him out for a little long while longer. It's two months. That's gonna be tough. It's the first two months of the season. We have our best player gone. Well, let's focus on the Community Shield. It's a trophy that I would love to win. I don't think I'm gonna have many chances on playing the Community Shield, to be honest. And not not until like you know FIFA 21 is coming. Uh, I can't really see myself playing that many more seasons with Mansell Town before FIFA 21 arrives. Then again, I'm not going to stress into it. I'm going to take my time, to, you know, before I decide team and all that. Uh, maybe you guys can have suggestions. Uh, if you want, if you have any specific team and, uh, you know, drop a, drop a comment about that. I will, of course, read it and answer it, uh, but we'll see. I'm gonna have a hard, hard look at at the, the teams before I decide. The kits is they, they are important, um, so before I decide team, I will look at the kits. It could be Mansfield again. You never know. But yeah, we're <clears throat> making our team ready now. Going to Wembley Stadium to play Liverpool. And the Shared Shield, get us some silverware. Come on lads, let's go. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And with the league season about to begin, we have action coming up from the curtain raiser, the Community Shield. It's Mansfield Town taking on Liverpool. Well, these games are about getting players fit, both physically and mentally, but there's also trophies to be won. Community Shield, tick that box. I've won that a couple of times. I've also lost it a couple of times as well. And it should be a cracker, Derek, that's for sure.
Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Let's take a look at the Liverpool Enjoy starting the 11. The highly rated Brazilian Alisson begins between the posts. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. switch to an even higher gear and putting his body on the line Issa Dion a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw Kevin Mbabu Space for the cross. Fabinho. They really look after the ball when they have it. Firmino. Give it away. He continues his run. Mohamed Salah now. Grujic. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. confident with the ball at his feet well, they do like to press whenever they can Moya could be a chance to break here well, he has clear options in the middle it looked like open road for them but up a dead end Enjoying the lion's share of possession, but the ref. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. And this time it's in! And that is not going to count. The decision is offside. Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. What did Liverpool learn from the first half? We're about to find out as they kick off the second 45 here. Here's Grujic. Roberto Firmino. Space afforded him. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. That sort of money in my book. Good, solid pro. Technical keeper was up to the task. Well, it's a decent effort, but it's a real opportunity goes begging there. Mbabu. Fabinho now. On the bench. This is Salah. Salah. Grujic. Crossing possibilities. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. An interesting pass. And an example of a counter attack that went nowhere. Individual quality coming to the fore. Robertson. for the keeper. So 
the corner played into the box. It was being very closely marked, but the header not on the target. No, just off target. And the thing is, the defender did his job, but he just couldn't quite get enough of his head on it. Liverpool continue to advance. Will they be able to convert? Mane trying a different avenue. Excellent ball towards the front post. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Roberto Firmino might fancy this. Just wanted to get it out of there. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Mo Salah. Salah does thrive on beating it field. Firing it in. We wonder if the goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, I have to question the defending there. They're all around him. They think they've got him, but nobody takes the ball off him. In the end, too late. Ball's in the net. Started Liverpool in front. Issa Diop, Mina Mino, Oxlade Chamberlain. The cross is on. It's got to be. And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. It's going their way, 2-0. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Might be a chance here. Surely it was so near. Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. Just needed to finish to cap it off. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. And that puts them in position. That's excellent defending following the cross. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And full time. Most satisfying a victory in the curtain raiser to the season. Well, a trophy, Derek, is a trophy. And they've deserved that today, played very well. They won't mind his pre-season at all. Not in the slightest. players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken well you know exactly where i'd be sitting in that photo don't you derek <laughs> i think i've heard it before Lee. <laughs> straight at the front <laughs> <laughs> so we lost the shirt to shield game two goes to zero liverpool was too strong and i really tried what i could but i couldn't you know move them i couldn't shake them they were just well they were too strong 
it was a it was a fair loss to be honest. Uh, I think you guys saw it. But it would have been great to win. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The first competitive game of the season is done, so we are we have kicked off season six. We kicked it off with a loss, which is, you know that's that's not the best way to start. But yeah, the next one we're gonna play Leicester. That's gonna be the the premiere the season, well the, the league premiere, and that's gonna be in the next episode. Because this one, this episode is done with with the Share to Shield game. Um, if you have any, you know, thoughts about the team, um, drop them in the comments. And if you have any other thoughts or anything, just you know, leave, leave a comment if if there is anything on your mind when when you watch an episode. I, I do appreciate to get critique. Uh, good or bad, as long as it's you know done in a, in a good way. Um, so so please, if you have anything, just leave a comment, and uh, we can we can talk about it. But this will wrap up the first episode of season six, which is of course episode eighty four, and uh, I want to thank you for. For watching this episode. I do hope that this season is going to be as strong as, as the last one, the, which was the first season in in the Premier League for us. And so cross your fingers that we're going to have just as good season this one. This one will con contain Euro football, so that's going to be exciting. But you guys take care and stay safe and uh, Make sure that you keep smiling and that you're being kind to each other. And uh, till we, well, till you hear me again in the next episode, you just uh, walk it.